you should have told me that. I mean, I was like a child. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, like everyone's don't make that a now. thing. You know like, what I'm saying? We're way wrong. past it. The not make it a thing thing is a little easier when you already know about it. Oh no, Sophie! What is it with her and her little white lies? I mean, she has a habit of them, doesn't she? Like, her and Rob were already on thin ice as it is. So will this latest lie be the final nail in their coffin? Will this be what ends their marriage? You're not gonna tell me that you guys dated, that you found him attractive, and that She lied to me. Yeah, it's not nice being lied to, is it, Rob? Yeah, but before we get into that, let's start at the beginning. So the last we saw Rob and Sophie, they were in an okay-ish kind of place. They'd kind of made up after Rob wrote a poem, bought some flowers, and booked them in for a dance lesson. But then Sophie sprung on her husband that her oldest friend from England, Callum, would be coming to visit her tomorrow. And Rob didn't much like that. And when we join them in this episode, Sophie is hanging out with her girlfriends by the pool. I've invited him to come out with me and all my friends for a little pool party. And then my best friend from England, Callum, was coming later today. The girls are all having a drink, and the girly chat begins. Sophie tells them how great her dancing date with Rob went, and while they all seem happy for her, there is also a slightly cold reception to the very mention of Rob's name. Like, it doesn't seem like these girls are his number one fan, especially right now. In fact, it's left to Sophie to remind them all to give Rob a chance today when he shows up. Common, Certain like, types of people can change. Not everybody can change. You have to want to change and put in the work to change. I see past that pretty little face he puts on. You know what I mean? The girls all nod, and they seem to agree with Kay. And she is right. Rob needs to want to change. But if he can't even acknowledge what he's done wrong, if he never takes accountability for his actions, then how's that going to happen? Well, the conversation then shifts to Callum. Does he have a girlfriend? What's he doing in the States? And why has he flown all this way from the UK just for Sophie? Yeah, you heard that right. Just for Sophie. But he came all the way out here from London for you. <laughs> okay, no, that sounds, okay. Keep in, no, keep in mind, he travels all the time and he wanted to come to America. Now, Sophie was adamant with Rob that Callum was traveling to America anyway. She claimed that as he was already there, he was just making a side stop to see her in Austin. But her friends seem to have it the other way round. From the sounds of things, he did come to America for Sophie. The rest of his trip was just an afterthought. Um, it's a new city that he can explore too. But Callum, do you think he still has a crush on you? I know, I'm like, look at the butt. I mean, how could he not? Sophie's giggling like she's the one with the crush. And it's really starting to seem like she's not been as honest about this meeting as she should have been. Like, Callum's gone from being an old friend passing through to being a guy who has a crush on her, being a guy who's come specifically to see her. And her husband isn't going to be happy about that. But Sophie and her friends drop this conversation as soon as Rob walks in, and he's walking into a den of lions here. Oh my god, I can see him, I can see him, I can see him. Okay, don't look, don't look. Oh my gosh, don't look. Oh my god. I'm like nervous. Are you? Yeah. Don't. I just hope it goes well. It will. Hey. Hello? What's up? Yeah, just to remind you, this is Sophie's husband. <laughs> like, why is she acting like a teenager? Why is she pretending not to look at him? Sophie's immaturity really is coming out to play here, isn't it? Like, is she ready for a marriage? She is only 24, and it's obvious that she's having a lot of fun being out with her friends, acting single at this bar. Now, the group grabs drinks, and Rob is ready for the girls to pounce. I know that her girlfriends are going to be judging me, especially Kay, who... I'm already worried about if Sophie's hooking up with her. Wait, wait, hold on, Rob. What does that even mean? 
Like, he's not happy with her having guy friends, unless they look like Gollum, in his words. And he's obviously not happy with her having girlfriends either, in case they hook up. Because she admitted that she's bi, now she's damned if she does and damned if she doesn't. But I think it's very important to point out here that Rob is the one with the history of cheating. Multiple times. His insecurity here just shows how his brain works if he really thinks that Sophie would cheat on him with Kay. Either way, Rob realises that Kay is a battle for another day. Today, at this pool party, he's come to complain about Callum. My wife has a guy best friend. It's, you can it, be I'm going to be honest with you. I've had exes in the past. The guy they were with after me was the guy best friend. It's honestly <laughs> with me. Sophie sneers at Rob. She basically tells him that that was his ex, not her. She's essentially telling her husband not to let his problems with his ex become their problems between them. Now, keep that in mind. Keep in mind that Rob was honest that exes are triggering for him. And Sophie just brushed it off. That becomes very important later on, but we'll get to that shortly, because for right now, Rob's insecurity is really showing, and it's a little bit embarrassing. And then she's bringing this guy, um, um, Cal Callum. Oh, come on, Rob. Real mature. Are you really pretending that you don't know what Callum's name is? Sure, Rob, yeah. This is your wife's supposed best friend. Now, as Kay asks Rob if his attitude towards meeting Callum stems from insecurity, Rob's response is, I'm here, aren't I? Which is true, but we're gonna see how that insecurity plays out, because it's at this moment that Callum appears in the flesh. Hello! Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Hi, Very well. Kay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, hell no. Nah. Wow, how awkward. Callum swooped in for a kiss with Sophie, but she swerved him in quite a humiliating fashion. Did anyone else catch that? Now, whether Rob saw it or not is up for question. He seems far too distracted by the fact that Callum isn't as Gollum-esque as he had hoped. If this dude doesn't look like, like Gollum, then I don't like it. He could have been a lot of any old type of look, but he's that look some hot dude. Now Callum greets everyone and he takes a seat, but it soon becomes clear that his eyes are only for Sophie. He and Sophie begin to talk. It's pretty much their own little private conversation about how long it's been since they last saw each other. But all the while, her friends and her husband are sitting there just awkwardly watching in silence. And Rob's insecurities are growing by the minute. My first impressions of Callum is he looks smug. Like he thinks he's, he probably thinks he's better than me. It's definitely boiling over. Oh, come on, Rob. Nothing is boiling over. Nothing has happened yet. You're sitting right there. Like, this is what's so annoying about Rob. Is this situation awkward? Is it annoying? Yes, okay, I grant him that. But his reaction here, like the way he's going about this, he's playing his tiny violin, wallowing in self-pity, is just way overboard. It's not warranted. Like, he really does have this chip on his shoulder. He always thinks that he's had it harder. He's had it tougher. He's always being looked down on. He's always having a self-pity party. But the truth is, in what he's seen so far, at least, Sophie and Callum just seem like good friends. It seems like Callum has his heart in the right place. I mean, the fact that he cheated on her, he doesn't take into account her feelings. I think I'd need to actually get to know Rob a bit better to say whether or not it's in the right relationship for her. Now, it's pretty clear that Sophie has filled Callum in on what's going on between her and her husband. As soon as the small talk's out of the way, Callum asks them how they're doing. Sophie makes Rob answer the question, and Rob says, we're figuring our sh** out. But just listen to what Callum says in response to that. Yeah, I just know she's had some bad taste in men before, and I just don't want that to be the case if she's 
going to be with you for a long time. Well, she already, she already jumped that. <laughs> <laughs> that comes across as quite antagonistic from Callum, doesn't it? He's simultaneously hinting that Rob might not be a good guy and that his marriage might not last for a long time. Now, Rob tries to make a joke of it, a bad joke of it at that. He tries to say that it's too late for Sophie to run. They're already married, which I'd suggest is not only a joke of bad taste, but is also inaccurate. She can and has run, Rob. But either way, as the conversation continues, Callum isn't done yet. He's really ready to stir the pot. He's ready to drop a bombshell on Rob. A bombshell that Sophie was obviously looking to keep secret. We dated for a short amount of time when we were like very first met when we were in Portugal. I completely get it. You and her dated? Why did you feel the need to bring that up, Callum? It seemed like he was determined, desperate almost, to sneak that into the conversation, didn't it? Either way, Callum isn't the one at fault here. It's very, very uncool of Sophie that she kept that hidden from her husband. Now, Callum does go on to say that this was when they were 16, and ever since, it's just been platonic between them. But that isn't the point. The fact is, Sophie intentionally left out this fact from Rob. She knew that he wouldn't like it. I mean, he has admitted earlier that he has problems with exes. So why did she think that hiding the fact that Callum's an ex would in any way help things? You should have told me that. I mean, I was like a child. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, 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 everyone's don't going make out that a now. thing. You know like, what I'm we're saying? way Rob? past it. The not make it a thing thing is a little easier when you already know about it. Sorry, but Sophie's friends are enablers. They're trying to be supportive, but Kate telling Rob not to make it a thing comes across as so manipulative. On this occasion, in this scenario, I completely sympathise with Rob. Like, this information has just been dropped on his lap. And now they're trying to make out like he's not allowed to react or he's the bad guy. Sorry, but I'm not buying it. What everyone should be asking here is why wasn't Sophie honest? Why was she keeping this hidden from her husband in the first place? You're not going to tell me that you guys dated, that you found him attractive and that she lied to me. So, do I understand why Rob's angry? Yes. Do I think he's right to be angry? Yes. But, Rob, maybe now you'll understand that it sucks when someone lies, doesn't it? That is something that you've also been guilty of, Rob. Now, I think it's important that we just quickly touch on Sophie's body language here. Throughout Rob and Callum's interaction, Sophie has been holding Rob's hand, almost as if to reassure him. But after this bombshell, as soon as Rob learns that Callum is her ex, she physically gets up and sits next to Rob. She tries to hug him. She kind of lies on his chest. It's almost like she knows she's guilty. She knows that she's in the wrong. And I find it really interesting how now, suddenly, the roles and the power dynamic have totally reversed. It's no longer Rob that's chasing Sophie. She's chasing him, and he's rejecting her. He doesn't want to be there. He stands up, makes his excuses, says he's going to the bathroom, and leaves. He walks out to compose himself, and Sophie realises that she's f***. Up. She has a lot of backpedaling to do and fast. If me and Callum had a whole relationship and slept together and all this stuff, I, of course I would tell Rob, but me and Callum, we dated a bit, but he's not an ex. Like when I say my ex is Callum's not one of them. Sorry, Sophie, but that sounds like excuses to me. This sounds like you are being hypocritical. You lose all credibility, all sympathy if you blame Rob for lying, but then you get discovered as being a liar yourself. 
The fact is, you shouldn't have hidden the fact that you and Callum were in a relationship from your husband, whether you slept together or not. Sophie knew that Rob would want to know that information, and she purposefully chose not to tell him. Now, Sophie goes on to claim that she's now anxious about it all, but there is a part of me that's now wondering whether she just wanted to hurt Rob. Did she choose to deliberately not tell him to get him back for all the hurt that he's caused her? Maybe. But Callum has an alternative theory. He thinks that Sophie may just be bored. And every time you found a nice guy, it's like over in a minute. Yeah. And you get bored, you move on, and then it's the next guy, and it's the next like yeah, crazy but thing going on. I'm married. And I just... It's different. Yeah, this ties in to what I was saying earlier about Sophie perhaps missing being single. But keep in mind, it's easy to forget, but there is nearly a decade's age difference between Rob and Sophie. Nine years to be precise. And from what Callum said, could there be any truth to the theory that maybe Sophie's deliberately sabotaging her marriage because she's bored and just wants to be single and party with her friends? Well, whether that theory holds any validity or not, her friends are again enabling all of this. They're very quick to absolve Sophie of any blame and make Rob out to be guilty for this whole situation. Situation. I mean, it was right after Callum spilled the tea, though. I mean, I'm shocked that you haven't told him already. That's why he's being weird. I mean, this just doesn't set off a good vibe. Look, even Callum admitted that he was surprised Sophie hadn't told her own husband. But then, now, he's enabling Sophie's lie by now saying that Rob's reaction didn't set off a good vibe. Like, I'm no fan of Rob, but this whole situation is a setup. If anything, Rob has actually handled himself well by walking away from the situation. And when he returns, having calmed down, you can tell from his face that things have just got serious. Hey Sophie, Hello. let me talk to you. That doesn't look good, does it? Something tells me Rob may be about to lose his cool. But the thing is here, it's just same sh different day, isn't it? There's just so many lies. Their whole marriage is built on a web of lies. Husband and wife seem totally incapable of being honest with each other. And that just doesn't bode well for a successful marriage. So... Where do they go from here?